Hey everybody, in step three here, we're gonna talk about setting uh, yourself up for, for success with benchmarks uh, to stay on track for your soft launch of your money network. So in step one, we talked about visualizing your pre-launch and I gave you the outline of what I had done um, to relaunch FindCom here. I gave you that journey of mine. And then in step two, we talked about some of the actual tools that I use uh, every day to help me not just for launching, but actually for, uh, you know, community management and um, business management kind of thing. So I want to go into a little bit more detail here with you for um, ways to keep yourself on track. Um, we just again, it's just talking about getting really clear and specific on literally what it is you're going to do. So um, when you're going to do something, you know, how you're going to um, follow your progress. So if you have a goal of having uh, 20 paid members in the first six months, you know, that's the goal. And then you can um, set up times where you check in with that goal throughout the process. Or if you want to have 20 people taking your five week course, um, you know, and then you can identify how many you actually got when you've opened the course. And then the next launch, maybe assessing like what you could, what could you improve to improve the rate of people um, taking your course. So I put together a outline um, worksheet for you to look at and go over. And so uh, this just goes through what we just talked about in steps uh, one and two. So um, what's the journey that you are on right now um, as far as where are you in the community building process? Um, what have you done so far? Like listing out accomplishments that you've done. Um, what values and beliefs um, have you established for yourself and goals? What, what are those goals? Is it launching by the end of the month or um, just discussing those? So writing out that is super to me important for you. Um, you can write it out on like printing this out and putting it down on paper with pen or you can just uh, work in a Google Doc and write these things out. Um, identifying your tools. So what is going to work for you? It's pro you know probably different from what, <clears throat> what I went over and what I've used. So just identifying, okay, I'm going to use Google Docs. I'm going to use Canva for some marketing materials to put those to, to tell everybody about the social media. <coughs> and to tell everybody about your community on social media, I should say. And then um, how are you keeping track of your progress? Like, uh, are you going to check in um, every 30 days or when is that? So just really identifying those things. And then going into uh, who can help you. Maybe there's some people that are, I talked a little bit in the previous uh, session about how I shared a, a Canva account with my friend. So how are there other ways that you could think about maybe cultivating a, a friendship or a partnership with other people? Maybe you can um, collaborate with somebody to help you set up events or host events, or maybe it's like you have a few people that take your course that you give them free access and then they give you feedback on the material and the worksheets and, you know, if it's a value to them, you can do a beta test, you know, things like that. Um, to get testimonials. In fact, I'm working with a friend of mine right now who was on the podcast this week, uh, Callie. She is going to be an intern <laughs> for FindCom here uh, just uh, so that she can help me a little bit and that um, I can give her a really great raving testimonial. Uh, so those are just different ways that maybe you can think about, you know, what that, what that means, who could help you and support you. Uh, what's a realistic time frame? Like, you know, if you have a big trip to Europe happening, you don't want to you don't want to have your launch be like the week before or after that. <laughs> um, you know, you want to be able to have time to dedicate to your your soft launch. So, just identifying like what the realistic time frames are for you, so that you can you know set yourself up for success in in the in the, each stage. So the interviews or discovery interviews, like 
having time to like be able to have those conversations, uh, having time to build the doorway, which we talked about earlier, and then having time to like actually invite members in and, and have them come to a welcome party. So what's realistic for you? Uh, and then writing that out as well as identifying the members. Who are you inviting in? Like just getting more clear again on that. Um, what needs to be done before you can bring them in? Maybe you're saying, well, I want to set up the course or I want to have, you know, the events set up. So then that would be one thing that you would identify there. Um, how many hours do you have to dedicate to your launch? So maybe I have two hours on a Sunday from one to three. That's the time. That's the that non-negotiable time that I put in my calendar. How do you keep yourself motivated? Um, what's what's lighting you up and is exciting about this process? Um, because if it's not fun, probably not something you're going to want to do, actually. <laughs> so um, how do you keep it fun and how do you keep yourself motivated? That depends on, you know, what you're doing. Um, but I would say just, again, just finding calm with this process and allowing yourself you know, not, not so hard on yourself. A lot of the time I know I do that. I set these like maybe unrealistic expectations sometimes. And then I realize, yeah, I actually did a lot of cool stuff. So um, just keeping yourself motivated with giving yourself grace and gratitude for the journey because you learn a lot. And how do you want to keep yourself accountable? So is it going to be that one to three time block that you're going to make sure you put on the calendar and then you're going to each week, you're going to say, okay, here's the next step. Okay, so I, I set up the door, so now I have to create the plan, or I you know have the Mighty Network ready to go, and I'm gonna start inviting people in. Um, those are just different. And then there's a checklist here. Um, and this just goes over lo like the logistics of creating a Google Doc so that you can put all this information there. So if you haven't to this point typed up your big purpose in a Google Doc or, or somewhere online, you wanna have everything on the computer in a like I said, in a Google Drive. So like if your computer crashes or something, it's in the drive. You don't have to, you, like you're never gonna lose that because it's in your Google. So you wanna have this all written out, the name of um, the name of your community, the big purpose, the name, um, the structure for your first launch, whether it's a one-time payment or a subscription, the doorway, um, just writing out the de everything uh, as far as the details of, what, what events are you going to have if you're having events? Or what are you teaching? What are, where is the course material going to live? Like, where is that going to be? Do you have a course material created already if you're doing a course? Or maybe you're just connecting people in a money network, like just to connect and hang out with uh, cool people in a social way. Um, you know, that's what you just write out. You say, hey, we're just going to connect on a monthly basis to um, – enjoy an hour of conversation with these this group of people um, listing out the people who you'll invite in the network um, putting a date on the calendar for your soft lunch opening right in the google doc all the things you need to have done before you can invite people in create a way to conduct ideal member interviews or discovery calls like using the calendly which i explained in the the last session and then um how you're organizing. We also discussed that in the last section, writing your timeline, um, deciding on a date to review results. So um, if you have a five week course and it starts on June 1st and then at, in July, you can see what you've learned from like what you didn't know in the beginning and then what you learned through the process. You can also uh, ask members to give you feedback um, at the end of the course, whether that's like a survey that you send them or um, an email asking them to set up a exit interview, which was just kind of giving, uh, the, they have the ability in a survey or an exit interview or a combination of those things to give you feedback on how they thought the course was or how they thought this time that you spent together was. So those are definitely things that I, um, think are helpful as you're, you know, setting up these benchmarks and setting goals for yourself. The other um, thing I would say, I did go over some Google specific things, but if you don't use Google, there's a lot of other software and platforms out there, but I think just Google is the simplest one. Let me know if you have questions about this step. Um, and then the next section, I'm going to have more uh, checklist. So after your like a launch checklist, and then we're going to have like a post launch. Uh, and then 
that will wrap up this guide. So um, those are the resources we're going to have. I do have that um, this launch worksheet in here um, and you can you can print it out or like I said, just fill it out on the computer and then we're going to go from there. All right. See you in the next one.